Sam must be sitting there going, I just cannot do anything right. Because there was a lot of lead up to this saying, your model naming is crap. There's too many. I don't know which to use for what. Why can't the model just be smart enough to work it out? And he's gone away and done it. Everyone's like, give me my models back. Um, I mean, like, sure, you can probably still give the option. <clears throat> I, I saw an interesting take from Reid Hoffman on this, and he's an investor and he's obviously biased, but I think there is some validity to what he's saying. I think they're taking a leap forward and trying to say, AI shouldn't be this complex. You shouldn't have to choose between which model should get the job done. You should just be able to ask it something. And it's probably the first step into having that AI that just sits on you and is your second brain. Because if you've got one of those pins, like you're not going to be telling it what model to use for certain things. You just want it to, to work, right? So it does seem like they're taking a step forward there and also trying to just apply to the masses so that anyone who hasn't used it before can go on and start using ChatGPT. And they're, they're trying to, what Reed calls blitz scale into getting as many users and becoming the default as fast as they can. And if you have to piss off a few of your power users along the way, they've probably made that decision deliberately. And maybe they are saying, well, it's all well and good to have our power users who pay us $300 a month, but really those users are the ones who are probably going to churn off to the Google ecosystem or Claude, like we have done. They've gone and paid everyone else and we're jumping around because we want the latest cutting edge. So it feels like they're stepping away from having the cutting edge and they're trying to appeal to the masses.